Right, so people seem to love the uh, quick bespoke run round from yesterday, so I'm down again, picking up the best I missed out. Just dropped Rory from Upgrade Up on the tandem, so I'm gonna go in there now and uh, yeah, we'll get some more from the other side of the show. So let's start off with how all of these frames effectively start, and to be honest, how a lot of the guys building at the show have started with a frame building class. Uh, and these are the guys from the Frame Building Academy, you see basically sign up and build your own frames under the tutelage of these guys and uh, yeah maybe even go on to set up your own hand-built bicycle uh, company john ross from bicycle academy he just grabbed hold of me and said you've got to see this this is, this is our dentist quality frame building jig so i'll let uh, you go through it john so this is our academy tools and frame fixture uh, it, the sort of unique selling point of both our fixtures is they come with a system that allows you to calibrate the jig. So it's something we've experienced with uh, jigs from all manufacturers in the past that over time they can deform under yeah. uh, heat cycles and so on. Um, so what we've actually um, created with these, rather than rely on machining um, accuracy into the jig, we build in adjustments so that you can so you can just compensate so over time. So you can compensate over time and uh, with any luck it'll never go out of alignment but you can always rule it out by using a laser to, to align the rear axle, the seat tube and the head tube in all the, the um, relevant angle. And it's not just the jigs that are high tech, you know, you've got fully computer um, automated custom colour system, also handling geometry and everything else about the bike you want to put together. It's always good when the bike you put together is the one that GCN are talking about in the morning. <laughs> and of course, Alex Moulton's original space frame designs are still some of the most incredible tube structures. Look at I mean this, nothing has ever come close to this kind of airship construction. And let things, you know, got Alex Isagonis designed suspension, little air shock at the rear. These things are still absolutely beautiful, properly iconic British designs. Look at the detail on this. Just a totally stunning bike. Worth the trip just down to see these. Right, so this is Bridge Hallett, who used to be kind of on a co-conspirator. Co-conspirator, kind of. definitely. I like that. I think we were in the same office in the 90s. I was on MBR, Rich yeah, was on yeah, Cycling yeah. Weekly. Yeah, and he's now in... And, and MTB Weekly. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I forgot you had an off-road component yeah. as well. And, but now he's doing a much better thing for the planet by making these beautiful Hallett road, old axe and handbook bicycles over in Wales. So, have a quick sweep through here. Look at that. Hug work. Nice cage, and then I have to say, my second favourite thing about these is this beautiful little cable rod straight, and then that's got to be the win at the moment. Look at that hand built stem. Proud of that one, Rich? It took me a long time to make it, and I, <laughs> and I, and I crashed on the first attempt, so that, you know. <laughs> but glad you got there in the end. I got 20 hours in and then cocked it up, so I had to start again. So, are all the lugs handmade as well? Or? They're all by la they're all by laminate sleeves. They're all hand yeah. Um My own design of, of decorative la la by laminate. Yeah. So yeah. All so hand cut sleeves, hand forms, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. There's a fair bit of work in it. So, make sure you drop in and see Rich and see these bikes in the flesh because they're beautiful. Come and say hello. So you've got Reynolds here for all your tubing needs. The raw material for a lot of these bikes. <laughs> So yesterday I was an idiot, as is often the case, and I called out Billy Dyke's bike for having a bit of a high bottom bracket. Uh, Billy's new builder from Howler, and I've surrendered myself for an education, because Billy's a new builder and I shouldn't go shooting my mouth off like this. So Billy, talk me through this fantastic, I mean, because there's a lot going on with the link and all sorts on Yeah, there. so... Not just the beautiful paintwork. Yes, yeah, so basically what, what I wanted to do with it is, from where I'm from, uh, we've got like Surrey and Epping right, okay. and stuff yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. So I didn't want to do this big like long and low enduro bike, really like low bottom bracket, 
really stuck to the ground. Yeah. Because as soon as you pedal, you just clang pedal. Yeah, I mean, I was riding the Surrey Hills on Wednesday. There's some big old yeah. ruts in there. Yeah, exactly. Roots and all that kind of stuff. So, comparably to other bikes, just, just to throw, throw it out there, like our BB height is 344. So, it's similar to oh, yeah, Trek so exactly. yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Remedy, Santa Cruz Bronson, Rocky yeah. Mountain, yeah. and Altitude. I think uh, it, altitude. I'm guessing it's just, it's just the steel tubes yeah, it, that it make does, it, it look make a lot lifty. So. I think because it's got the linkage all in one, one area, yeah. it makes that area look quite quite busy, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's also 27 and a half. So obviously, with a smaller yeah. wheel, don't what, want to have it. What's the travel? Uh, so it's 150 rear, 160 front. Yeah. Um, but with, so it runs a 205 by 60 trillion. And if yeah. you run a 205 by 65, so if you overstroke it, five yeah, yeah, yeah. you can change it to 170, 160. Oh, um, so okay. for those people that are like going, okay, I'm riding it, um, yeah, normally, okay, I'm going to go to bike park and I'm going to go Yeah, forward. exactly. I mean, because bikes, yeah. you know, bikes have only got that low recently anyway. And I think yeah. it's important for smaller builders like yourself not to just follow the herd. Yeah. So, and, do, and should we just, do you want yeah. to talk us through it now? So, yeah, so we've got single pivot, um, linkage driven, with, a, with an idler unit in there. Um, so, basically, the way this works, as the swing arm comes up, pulls this dog bone down and then compresses the shock. So, it actually looks more complicated than it is. Yeah, um, just because, I mean, I think it's just because you've got the overextension on that upper yeah. linkage, isn't it, there? On yeah, the exactly. Rocker arm. Um, but by, by doing this, obviously, single pivot are renowned to have issues with, like, pedal kickback and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. By doing this, we've able to sort of minimise that quite a lot. But we've managed to gain quite a few good properties. So, for example, we've got 138% anti-squat right, with a okay. coil. Yeah, yeah. With a coil set up, not yeah, an air that's can. quite, that's really, that's, that's made them forbidden go, isn't that, it? That's I mean, pretty good, yeah. yeah. So, so top out 128? Yeah. So, basically, we've got a good anti-squat property, so it should climb really well. Yeah. Um, and when you're out the saddle trying to give it some beans, it's not going to just disappear on you. Um, we've also got the progressive, progressive rate on it isn't a, a curve. It's a straight, right, a straight so progressive linear rate. progressive, yeah. Yeah, so... We're going to get a nice consistent feel the whole way through its yeah. travel. Which um, makes it easy for people to set up yeah, and things exactly. like that. Yeah. And then in order, when we're doing all that other stuff, we've managed to also get a 27 mil um, rearward axle path as well. So those big log hits and stuff So like that, that is the same as the forbidden, pretty like. much. Yeah. yeah, so we've managed to gain quite a few things yeah. within this package. But still um, keep it pedalling really stable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the big thing for me is that I've noticed on a lot of other bikes, is they say it can run a coil but you get midway through it yeah. and it still feels like it, it disappears. Yeah. Whereas with this, we designed it focused around the coil. It's yeah, because the whole brilliant thing about coil is consistency. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But what we also can do is when you put an air can on there, you know, you're not going to have to throw the biggest volume spacer in there to make it feel progressive yeah. because we've made it feel like that with the coil. So we've done, we focused a lot of energies to sort of try and get it yeah. where we wanted to. Um, I think we've achieved something quite cool and it's yeah. quite different. Um, I don't know whether we are or not, but I think we might be the first steel frame builder who's done a high pivot either, but steel frame. I think Rafi did a prototype one at RA, uh, like yeah, donkeys not, years ago, sure, yeah. and I think, but yeah, it's but great to have the options quite, out there. Yeah, quite, definitely, because it's definitely that's definitely seems where it's going at the moment. Yeah, it's you know, good. don't show up at Daniel recently if you haven't got a common cell meta. This, this is it. So we started designing it in June 2020. Right. Okay. So it's been a year, over a yeah. year in design as well. And you're based down in the southeast, are you? Yeah, correct. Right. Yeah, so I'm based in London. Right. Um, yeah. So it's yeah, been a long process, and then obviously the boys at Shram here. Yeah. Um, come and basically wanted me to to come and show it the stand, so yeah. we had to get it done. And what, what's so, the tube set? So at the moment on this prototype, it's basically just 4130 chrome molly yeah. main gauge. Just because it's a prototype, yeah. we obviously didn't want to go full hog on bike tubing, all this yeah, kind of that's stuff. That's the whole point of having a development yeah, prototype. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so it's all plain gauge, um, other than the chainstays, which are uh, Tange um, Champion, because um, they've nice. got really nice yeah, bend yeah, to them. Yeah. They give you good, good clearances. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other, other than that, it's sort of. It's kind uh, of when, really when do you expect? Happy. When do you expect to have? saleable uh, models when should people should people start getting in touch for you now for, to get on the yeah, build get, list get in touch get in touch and then basically I can just keep you informed with the progress and what we do and what we change and then it's sort of you can kind of see the progression of the bike as well um, hoping obviously if we can get it sort of early summer would be great but we just need to do some intensive testing and like, make sure because we don't want to bring it to market and it's not right um, we've already yeah. done a lot of FEA testing on it to make sure we don't get 
uh, linkage value, seat well, tube cracks. Well, that'd be funny. Stuff. That's brilliant to hear at Handbuilt Bike Show that someone's taking the whole yeah. kind of liability yeah, so and strength we've, issues. Because it is done a lot. It's got to be a concern with some oh, of the bikes you see 100%, here. A hundred percent. But what people are doing on these bikes now is just yeah. insane. You yeah. know, and it's yeah. I've been working with with a gentleman called Alex from Des Racing. Right. Um, and we've been doing a lot of work, like I say, over a year of testing stuff, FEA testing to make sure we're not going to blow through the seat tube and pull the bearing out the frame and all this kind of stuff. Um, the reason we've got gussets where they are in a certain length is because we've done the testing to make sure it doesn't snap the head tube off. And, you know, yeah. we've done a lot of lot of testing to make sure it's right to get this prototype as it is. Um, and ho- hopefully we won't need to change much and then it should be able to go for sale quicker. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, the last thing Billy needed was some old fart shooting his mouth off on a video yeah. and uh, getting the wrong point across. So, massive thanks for putting me straight, sir. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. And, uh, yeah, check out Howler, get yourself on the pre-build list and... I'm an absolutely, uh, yeah. yeah. Billy will sort you out with a very, very state of the art suspension system that's been uh, <laughs> very intensely strength and uh, dyno tested by the sound of things. So, yeah, best of luck with right. the project, Billy. Cheers, mate. Big you, apologies for the first that's right, shout out. Cheers. Spoon Custom sewing some absolutely glorious paint jobs on their bikes and full Brooks bike packing kit on there. But this is the one that's been turning everybody's heads on the first day. Beautiful. Fully uh, integrated seat tube, the uh, seat post cap on there, and then this is what's been getting everyone excited. This beautiful kind of NASCAR Hot Wheels inspired port graphic. Yes, boys. And the guys and girls from Team Frameworks just showing you don't have to be super showy, super rad to build something really, really beautiful. Just really, really sweet detailing there on stage and just glorious paintwork. Got the restrap guys and girls from just down the road in Leeds doing the full bike packing. And this is the incredible luminescent finish on this limited edition look luggage that restrap have made for the French manufacturer. So, I mean, without the foam there, it's actually showing up similarly, but yeah, amazing iridescent mirror reflective material. It's taken them 18 months to develop that without losing any of the durability and kind of signature hardiness of these Yorkshire built bags. And it looks absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Plus, it's a safety feature, so your mum's going to love it. Now, somebody actually picked this out of the previous video to chat about. And this is the Vandal Metalworks full fixie track bike. Beautiful kind of BMX style foot on the box there, so you've got a really nice stiletto blade. Reminds me of a Cougar I had right back in the day. And then a little brass name plate. This is, this is like something you'd see in the uh, National Railway Museum where I used to live in. You know, well, I did, I did pretty much live in the Railway Museum as a kid in York, but beautiful uh, open naked detailing on that. And this. This is a really nice feature. Uh, you've got, obviously got the logo up there, but deliberately kind of fade, worn, polished, whatever you call it, Thompson seat post. And of course, obligatory Brooks cap. Oh, the guys from Conti there went riding with them yesterday morning for my continental breakfast, Bumtish, on their brand new uh, GP5000S. Even lighter, smoother, more comfortable tubeless tyre for your bespoke bicycle needs. Hookless compatible as well, yeah. Yeah, hookless compatible, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Shelley. And Moss Bikes. Gutted I missed these guys yesterday, but I had to go home and make some pizza dough for the girls. Uh, But yeah, beautiful hand built bikes from the Wirral. Wound up fork there. Glitter paint. And they kind of specialised in fully uh, British componentry bikes as much as possible, so you've got the Middleburn cranks as well. And this Moss Spitfire CX is actually based on the wedding suit of the builder. And I mean, look at that beautiful overshot stays with a little uh, wooden plug in the end of it. That's kind of a signature of what they do there, and it's stainless steel with a pink paint reveal on top of it. But this might have to be my favourite detail of the whole show. This is the filler cap for a down tube whiskey flask. And it comes out there. And then that second little dial there is just to uh, undo the airflow so it pours out smoothly. 
hence the little wooden stoppers on this six stone. And again, you know, beautiful framework on the drive, both titanium and steel. So there we go. Uh, that's a quick rundown of kind of some of the highlights of Bespoke Show here in Harrogate. So massive thanks to Zero Cycling for sponsoring the channel, uh, PEs and CRUD as well. Uh, thanks to the press team here for letting me in. Thanks to all the guys I've chatted to today. Uh, come in, find your own gems, find your own favorites. Let me know what you think of the various things you've seen in this video in the comments, or if you're coming down, talk to me in the comments as well. But yeah, definitely worth dropping down to Bespoke in Harrogate. And uh, if you're here on Sunday, I'll probably be prowling around again. So might see you then, or I might see you on the uh, SRAM gravel or road rides on Saturday morning at a prologue, 8.30 in the morning if you want to come and join them. But yeah. So thanks for now. I've been Guy Kestivan on Guy Kest TV at the Bespoke Handbuilt Bicycle Show in Harrogate.